so far this morning. I was so fired up. Well, the little one was in bed with us, so I didn't really get to sleep much, but that's okay. I was still fired up. Amen, Amen to God. You said, Brother Mike, you fired up wrong. No, man, I, I had the, this word in my spirit just burning. I got in there, I was just thinking how God is. And I got to thinking all about what God's been doing for me, Brother Billy, what He has yeah. done for me. Yeah. Hallelujah. I got to thinking about all the negative reports I've heard over the last five and a half years. I got to thinking about all, hallelujah to God, the so-called brothers and sisters in the Lord, hallelujah, who said, I love you and I'm praying with you, but really they were just sticking back knives in my back, praise God. But God is. Amen. Amen. Come on, yeah, God is. Amen. See, God puts people in your life, praise God. He'll put a very certain amount of you. And I tell you, I, on my two hands, God has got that many people in my life that I can count on. Yeah. Hallelujah. With Him being number one. Amen. Come on. Praise God. And I tell you, that man right there sitting on the second pew, amen to God. He's one of those two, amen to God. I love Brother Billy. Amen to God. I'm, all, I'm not puffing him up, but I tell you, I love and appreciate him. I love and appreciate Brother Chris. Amen to God. Amen. He's a blessing. Praise God. Yes, Each and every person here. Amen. Brother Rodney. Amen. I was thinking I'm today, all. Brother Rodney preached a message a few years ago. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Just still stirred me up. And I really, really, really feel in my spirit, brother. you got to go preach it again. Amen to I'm God. All. God's got a word in you. Amen to God. He wants you to put it out. Amen to God. Start revival fires all over these places. Amen to God. It's time to start some fire today. Amen. Come on. Praise God. We got enough dryness going on. I'll tell you, all it's going to take is one spark. One little flicker. Praise God of the Holy Ghost. And it's going to burn up. Amen to God. Amen. We'll see Livermore on fire for God. Come we'll on. see Hopkinsville on fire for God. We'll see the state of Kentucky on fire for God. Wait, we'll see the whole nation on fire for God. Oh. All it takes is a witness. Oh. A very few. Oh. Amen. He said, where well, two or three are gathered together in my name. There am oh. I in the midst of them also. Yeah. And I believe it with every fiber of my being. We can start revival fire tonight and let oh. it spread all across the world. Amen. Hallelujah. You say, well, how do you do that? You're in Livermore, Kentucky. Well, praise God, we're going out through the airways, amen to God, amen. through the internet, praise God, through Facebook, through YouTube, Come through on. every avenue. So we're going to start some revival fires tonight in the name of Jesus because God is, amen to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Somebody say, God is. God is. Woo, hallelujah. I done told you the title of my message before I even preached it, amen. amen. Hallelujah. God is. Glory Come on. to God. Go with me to Hebrews chapter 11. My Lord in heaven, I'm about to jump out of this body and go on. Amen to God. If the body just falls over, hallelujah to God, the Holy Ghost will just take over. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah to God. You say, Brother Mike, how for a dead man you don't stink. Praise God. Hallelujah. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Praise God. Woo! Glory to God. You ever been working out in the field? Praise God. After a long day. How many ever even cut tobacco? Come on. Being out in that hot sun and your body, you stink a little bit, have yeah. some body odor, but Come when on. you jump in that bathtub and you wash that body with some soap and water, you smell okay after that, amen to God. You know before you was under the blood of Jesus, you Come stunk on. in the, the sin you did, stunk Come in on. the nostrils of God. But I tell you, He threw you in that bathtub of the blood, amen Whoa. to God, and washed you from head to toe. Hey, Ivory Soap ain't got nothing on the blood of Jesus, oh, amen to God. It says it's 99.9%. Well, I say oh. the blood is 100%. Amen to God. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now that a preach, praise God, but I got to preach what the Holy Ghost is leading me. Mm. Amen. See, the last time I was here, the Spirit of God got to move me so strong, this was why I was going to preach then. Amen. But the Lord said, don't preach that night. I'm all. And I'll tell you, see, it ain't about if I preach to you, yeah. hallelujah, or if I'm behind this pulpit, or holding this microphone, it ain't about that. Come on. It's about Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. Because God is. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah to God. It ain't about being seen or being heard. It's about letting His Word Come on. be heard. It's about letting Him be seen. Amen? Oh, hallelujah. And that's where we as preachers, where we as believers have got to step aside and let God be God. Amen? Come on. Amen. Go over to God. I tell you, that night... If some of you wasn't here, man, what a move of the Spirit. Powerful. 
Praise God. I tell you, and it's getting, you know, the Lord gave Brother Billy that word a while back that he was going to start visiting more. Amen to God. And I tell you, for some reason, people think you don't go on Tuesdays or Wednesdays or whatever day during the week you have it. That's when you're missing the greatest move of God. Come on. We always condition ourselves to go Sunday morning, and you should, amen to God. Yeah. But I tell you, praise God, you don't need a thousand people to have a move of the Spirit. Come on, amen. God is. Hebrews 11, chapter 11, beginning in verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Come on. The evidence of things not seen. That sounds like it's some exercising right there in the Spirit. Come on. It says, for by it the elders obtain a good report. By what? Faith. <laughs> Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of all oh, man. By the Word of God. Amen. Oh, that spoken amen. Word. Amen. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Through faith. Amen. Come on. It said, by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated. Hallelujah. How many knows God can do that? Amen. For before his translation, he had this testimony that what? Come on. He pleased God. Pleased God. Now verse 6 right here, this is gonna this should blow up like a cherry bomb in a trash can. Amen. Come on. But without faith, it's impossible. It is impossible. Say it is impossible. It's impossible. To please who? God. God. Yeah. For he that cometh to God Come must on. believe that he is. Yeah. Woo. How many knows Woo. God is? God is, yeah. If you go to God. You must believe that He is. Come on. And that He... Now listen to this. This is powerful right here. See, we've quoted the first part of this verse for years, yeah. but we forget the good part of it. Amen to God. This is, amen to God, the cake underneath the icing, if you will. Oh, my. That He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Seek him. Yes. See, without faith it's impossible to please God. Come on. But if you have faith, Oh, and you seek God. Him, now look what He's going to do. On. He's going to be a rewarder to those who seek Him. Oh! oh yeah, I don't know if you got that or not. How many knows God is? Amen. See, when you seek Him, you're going to find Him. Come on. And then when you find Him, He's going to reward you. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh so I wish somebody help me now. Hallelujah. Praise God. See, God is. Come See, on. He says... For those that seek me, they'll find me. It says, oh, ask and you shall receive. Hallelujah. Seek and you shall find. Come on. Knock. Come on. And the door is going to be open. Because I tell you, when he opens the door, amen to God. Oh, Woo! He shot on my top. Hallelujah. When he opens the door, you don't know what you're in for. Oh. Because God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Oh, oh hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody give me feet praise him right amen. now. Amen. He's worthy. Amen. God is. God oh, is. Oh, Look at your neighbor and say, God is. Amen to God. Oh, no matter what trial you're going through, God is. Oh, God can oh, bring you out. Well, Brother Mike, praise God, the brakes are done on my car. God is. Oh, and he can make a oh, way when there seems to be no way. Come on. Why? Because He is the way, yes, the truth, is. and the life. Yes, God is. is. Ooh, go over to God. Glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. I tell you, Glory. we fuss and complain when something do not go our way, but God is. And He tells you, praise God, how to be blessed. Come on. Hallelujah. If you seek Him, praise Woo. God, He'll reward you, praise God, for those that diligently seek Him. Yes. That's good uh, eating right there. My, my, my. We was talking on the way up here. Just Ooh, talking about the different God. things going on with Brother Rad. Come and on. I tell you, you know, praise God, it doesn't seem like Brother Rad, the devil's fighting him so hard. And one thing i got to praise God for is that, praise God, you know when you're doing right for the, the, for the Lord 
And the devil's fighting you that hard when he doesn't want him to remember the Word, when he doesn't want him to speak the Word, you know, praise God, something good's about to happen, amen, to God. Because God is, amen. Amen. I told Chris, I said, something's going to be said that's going to ignite, hallelujah, a flame, a spark in there, Come and on. it's going to rise back up in him. The Holy Ghost is. He's there, praise God. He's just got to start speaking that Word out. He's got to stand on. on the Word. And that's Come what we've got to do today. Day. Praise God. God is. Hallelujah. God is. Just say it one more time. Amen. God is. God is. God is. God is. God is. And he, he is a has been. God is. Amen to God. Come on. He is. Praise God. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. If I holler glory, praise God the Come Lord. No, man, I'm just about to break through. Woo! Glory to God. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. God is, if you get God that is. spirit tonight, if you get it, it won't matter what you're going through, because God is. Come on. Mm. Father, we come before you now in Jesus' name. God, you are. Whew. Hallelujah. Come on. Lord, you are everything. <clears throat> Without you, we're nothing, Lord. Thank you for being merciful to us. Thank you that each and every day, your mercy and grace is new to us. Thank you for your word tonight, that it will not return back to us void. Father, I pray, Lord, you would let me decrease tonight. Hide me behind your cross. Hallelujah. Let nobody, let nobody see nothing or hear nothing but that of you, Lord God. I'm a vessel in your hand, Lord. Let this word, Lord, minister to those here at VOTL. Let it minister to those going out through VOTL radio, Lord God, through whatever avenue we're using, Lord. Glory to your name. For your glory, Jesus. dear God. Almighty. That the world, that the world will say, You are, Lord God. God is still on the glory. throne. You are on the throne, Lord. Glory. You are seated high above it all. There is no God as big as you. Hallelujah. The devil's defeated and we got the victory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, let lives be changed tonight. Let faith increase and doubt decrease, Lord. Hallelujah. Let us walk in faith. Believe in your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm not going to hold you long tonight. But I can't promise what God's going to do. Come on. If God says we're going to stay here all night, we're going to stay here. Amen. Because God is. Come on. He is. He is. I was in Paducah today. I got to share this with you. My Lord. I was up there. I stopped at a chiropractic place. First stop I stopped at. Now I went in telling them about what we offer and everything. And she said, well, let me talk it over with the doctor and I'll call you back. See if we can use your services. And I said, amen. So they, they, called, they called the office and they called me and they said, go back. They want to sign on with you. Uh -huh. So I go back and we go through that. And I thank God I get a free, hallelujah, adjustment by the chiropractor, so I feel really good too today, amen, amen to God. But I, I'm back here on the table, how many of you have ever been to a chiropractor, amen? amen. And you know, they put you on the table and they put the knee in your hip and beat you and knock you around yeah. a bit. But, but the doctor in there, and I could tell he was a believer just by the way he was acting. You could see it on him, amen to God. How many knows God is, amen? Yeah, come on. How many knows God sends you to people that are just come like on. you, amen Hallelujah. to God? Hallelujah. So I'm laying there and and I, he says, tell me a little bit about you. And I was going into what happened five years ago. And he just standing there and he was doing like this. I didn't know at first if he was going to draw on me. Praise God, going to lay hands on me. Amen. God. Oh. Hallelujah. I got done telling him. He said, woo. He said, woo. He said, God is. I'm all woo. And I'm like, uh oh, we're gonna have revival break out in the oh, contract job. Hallelujah. So he goes through and he tells me medically about my bones and about the nerves and stuff. And he says, you know, he says, you know, the, the muscle spasms you're having and, and the jerking you're having with your arm and leg. He says, Hallelujah. He says, I'm gonna tell you, that means there's life there. Come on. And he says, excuse me for a second. 
He says, praise God, when Jesus walks by, Come he on. may see you polluted in your own blood. But he'll say, you know what? Live! live. And live. you'll get up and live! live. Amen to God! Yes. Hallelujah! And he told me all the medical stuff, and I said, okay. But he says, i got to tell you this. Hallelujah! He said, oh, glory. Glory. Hallelujah! He says, you know, what the doctors can't tell you is that God is. Come on. He says, what they can't tell you is that when they say you'll never walk again, God says you will. Yeah. He Amen. says, when they say you'll never be right again, God says you are already right, praise Come God, on. because He's on the throne of your heart. Amen. When the doctor says there's no hope, Jesus comes on the scene, amen to God, and says, I am hope, amen to God. Oh. Praise God. When there's no life, Jesus said, live, amen to God. Yeah. See, what I'm talking about and what He confirmed today is that, praise God, no matter what you're going through, no matter what, I don't care what it is, you may be going to bankruptcy court tomorrow, but if you have faith in God, God can bring you out of your mess. Amen to God. God can cancel those debts. I told my sister, sitting up at the hospital in Bowling Green, we was praying over my brother-in-law. Hallelujah. I said, I believe God can make that leg grow back as sure as I'm talking to you. And they thought I was kind of crazy. But I believe God can. And I know He's done it for people over in Africa. I've uh -huh. read of accounts and heard of testimonies where they'd be praying for people. People didn't have eyes balls and they oh. pray and eyes would recreate back in the sockets well that's some Walt Disney thing no that's the word of God that's oh. when you put God amen, into the test and you stand upon his word amen. because God is and what he wants you and I to understand today is that praise God he done things years ago but he's still doing them today if we will let him we are the ones that stop the hand of God from moving oh. in our lives amen. we need to just stop quenching the Holy Ghost and let God be God, have His way in the services, praise oh. God, and start moving accordingly, and we would see, amen to God, altars fill up, we would see the sick be healed, oh. we would see, praise God, the backslidden come back home, because God is. Amen. We've got to have faith in God, because yeah. see, where there's faith, we see the invisible, amen to God. Oh. You see past the natural. Amen? Amen. You see past what the checkbook says. You see past what the doctor says. You see past it. Amen? Come on. You hear the inaudible, praise God. You don't listen to what's said in the natural. You won't listen to the bad news. You'll listen to God's news. Amen? Come on. I, I'm just at the point in where I don't even want to read, look at the paper, or even watch TV because all you ever hear is negative. Come on. I mean, I need something positive, praise God. That's why, amen to God, the only thing I feed my spirit is the Word of God from a 1611 King James Bible. Oh. There you go, Brother Mike, talking about that. Well, praise oh, God, I tell you, oh, I stay yeah. with the original, praise God, because that is life, amen to oh. God. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by what? The Word oh, of God, Lord praise God. God. If we would get this back in our lives, oh. get it back in our homes, we would see a change today. I tell you, you'd see your kids straighten up. Oh. You'd see marriages get right. You'd see unsaved loved ones get saved. Amen to God. Because the Word of God will never fail you. Jesus oh. Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm telling you, He said He is the Word. Hallelujah. And if He's the Word, praise God, He never changes. Come on. Amen. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Where there's faith, you expect the unexpectable. Amen to God. Come on. God is the God of the impossible. How many knows that's true? Amen? Come on. He Amen. wants us to exercise our faith. He wants us to step out of the boat, if you will. Because God is. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know who this is for tonight. I know it's for me, praise God. See, y'all may not know, excuse me, about me, about this. Know this about me. I'll get my words right in a minute. But when I'm driving to these places, I'm preaching to myself. I know people pass me and think I'm half crazy. But I'll tell you, you got to preach to yourself. Come on. Amen. Amen. I just ain't preaching to y'all. I'm preaching to me, praise God. My faith needs stirring, amen to God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. God is. Amen. God is. Hallelujah. So do you put your faith in practice? Do you practice what you preach? Amen? Come on. Or do you use your faith like a spare tire in case of an emergency? Amen? Yeah. Do you use your faith like a wheelbarrow and just push it around? Hallelujah. When something's heavy. When you don't want to get your hands, you just want to put it in there and pick it up and push it around. Do you use your faith like that? Do you use your faith like a Greyhound bus? Written only when it wants to go your way. See, none of us, a lot of us don't talk to God unless we want something. <coughs> Come on. Let's just be honest. When there's trouble, we call out to the Lord. Amen? Yeah. I thought about this one day. I thought, what would happen if we got into trouble and we called upon Him, but He didn't answer? It? Yeah. Or He didn't show up? What if he said, well, today I think what I'm going to do, because y'all do it to me, so I think today I'm just going to sit down. I'm on. And I'm just going to let you see what it's like without my presence in your life for one day. Yeah. Or not, let me not say one day, for one minute, for I'm one on. second. You don't realize you've gotten up and the mercy of God has spared your life more than once. You've gone out to your car and drove down the road and Come the on. devil had a, a drunk driver or, or a deer try to run out your way, but God went before you and stopped it. Amen. And you didn't even know it. Yeah. You didn't know about the times you may have been <coughs> in the supermarket. Come on. And there may have been some crazed killer out there with a gun going to come in and just start opening fire. Yeah. Because that's the new thing nowadays. Yeah. People going into movie theaters, going into stores, and just start opening fire on people. On. That's the new thing that yeah. the devil's yeah. using. And if you notice it, he's going after the young people. Come on. Yeah. See, the devil is trying to kill off the next generation of believers that God can raise up and hallelujah, we'd see great things from them, but he's doing all he can to kill the young folk. And if he ain't trying to kill them, he's trying to get them into stuff they have no business in. Come on. See, the devil is not your friend. The devil is not your pal. I had a guy tell me a, a few weeks back. I seen him. I was in a park sitting there reading a, a book. And this guy walked by and he, he seen what I was reading and he said, you must be one of those Christians. I said, I'm not one of those Christians. I am a Christian. Yeah. Amen to God. I am, hallelujah, living the way Jesus wants me to live. I said, my God has a name, and His name is Jesus. A name above all names, amen. Come on. He said, well, my God is the devil. And when I die and go to hell, we're going to rock and roll and have a party. I said, friend, I said, you are deceived, brother. I said, you're deceived. Come on. Because when you go to hell, there ain't no coming back. Yeah. And there ain't going to be no rock and roll party. Yeah. And you're not going to eat Pizza Hut pizza and drink root beer and do all this in hell. You're going to be burning in torment forever and ever and <clears throat> ever. Come on. And forever is a long time. Yes, it is. I could not imagine what it would be like to be separated from God for eternity. Man, I tell you, I go crazy when I don't hear from Him after a day, after a minute, after an hour. Come on. How many's ever been there, brother? Where you just seem like you couldn't hear from God. Yeah, well, it seemed yeah. like you pray and your your prayers just hit as high as the ceiling. But we know different, praise God, because we know according to the word that God hears our prayers. Come on. If we pray according to His word, God answers our prayers. Yeah. Remember Daniel? He prayed. God sent the answer, but there was a battle in the heavenlies for twenty-one days. Come on. It's not over till it's over. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God is. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, if we don't practice our... How, how can we say we're devoted, believing Christians when we won't practice our faith? People said, I'll do whatever you call me to do, Lord. Jesus said in Luke 6, 46, Why call ye... Why, call, why and why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Yeah. Lord, Lord, but you don't love your brother. 
Come on. I heard a song on the radio. I, I think it was called The Proof of Your Love. And it had, it had a part in it. And the, the man was talking it. And it was talking about love. And I can be this great person, do these great miracles, hold great crusades, lay hands on the sick and they recover. <clears throat> but if I don't have love, yeah. it profits nothing. And at the end of it, I like what he says. He says, I'm bankrupt without God's love. I like that. Because you and me and all of us are bankrupt without the love of God. Come on. And no matter what you do, if you don't do what he says, and he says, love one another, yeah. forgive one another, quit fighting, quit arguing, quit, quit getting into fusses over little things. Come on. Just the little things. Why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Because it said back in Hebrews, without faith it's impossible to please God. Yeah. So you got to have faith in Him. Amen? Come on. you got to have faith. Faith without works is dead. Yeah. Yeah. James 2.26, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Come on. Hallelujah. If we took our spirits out of our bodies right now, what would happen? They'd fall down. Yeah. That's the same with faith. All the works you do, if you don't have faith believing God is going to perform, profit of nothing. And every time we pray, if we ask people to pray for needs, but we don't believe it, it's doing nothing. If you don't believe when we pray, it's doing you no good. It's just we're wasting our time. And that's why, you know, I, I don't feel so bad when, when, when people says, pray for me. And I say, do you believe God can? Because I don't want to waste my time if we're not going to believe, amen? Yeah. Not saying I won't pray for them. It's just that why, why bother if they're not going to believe? Why bother, you know? Somebody say God is, amen? God is, amen. What we've got to get back to doing is worshiping Him. Praising Him, even when we don't feel like it. I know Brother Billy's hurting, not in his back, I can tell. Amen to God. And he don't complain much. But I know he's hurting when you hurt your back. That's bad. Come on. But he's still here. And I see some of the healthiest people out there make excuses. They can't come to an hour. Yeah. And he gets up and preaches. I'm sure he preached Sunday morning with his back hurting. Amen. He's preached with toothaches before. I've done the same thing. I've been in pain before and you still got to keep going on. Amen. Hallelujah. No matter what. Because God is... Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Brother, that back issue is going to be taken care of. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God is. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Rodney, that situation you're going through is going to be taken care of. Amen. Because God is. Amen. God, God don't is. hold the past against people. The devil's defeated, amen. I'm all. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, you gotta start preaching again. I feel I feel I need to tell you that. You got a word, amen. Hallelujah. I know you do, brother. We gotta walk with God and take him at his words. Stand your feet and praise God. Hallelujah. I'm gonna call him, say amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my my my. He's good. Amen. He's too good. Take him at his word, church. God wants to bless you. God wants to touch you. God wants to meet your needs. Yes. But you've got to believe him. Amen? Amen. Seek him. Search for him. Amen? Because you'll find him. And when you find him, God is. Come on. God is. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for your word tonight. <coughs> I thank you, Lord, that the Word is ministering life as we speak right now. Lord, each of those that are here tonight at BOTL as we get ready to depart, be with us, Lord, as we go home. God, us to our home safely. I plead the blood of Jesus over each family in here, over each person individually. Get us home, Lord. Let us lay down tonight in the best night of sleep we've ever had. And not worry, not be stressed out, not be anything, but let's just lay down in perfect peace tonight for you are our peace. Hallelujah. And Lord, let us wake up tomorrow by Your grace to start out another day 
to get to be a light in a world of darkness. And forgive us, Lord, any way we failed you. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.